Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? And uh, I want to use this opportunity again to wish you a merry, merry Christmas. Now we are in a season of love, right? And I am meeting this one person who was shown love on the streets of Accra. So a couple of years back, my friends and I actually went out on the street to um, give the street children some food and, you know, those kind of things. And a lot of people actually do that on Christmas. But it doesn't end there. Christmas is not the only time you can actually show love. But in this season of love, I'm going to meet Nelson. And he's going to tell us how his life was evolved as a result of love being shown him from street to where he is today. So guys, come with me. So welcome to the channel. Thank you very much. All right, so guys, this is Nelson. So like I said, today we are going to have this big conversation in appreciation to what God has done in the life of Nelson so far. This is Christmas. It's time to show love. And he's going to um, tell us how love was shown him. You get all right. So Nelson, how are you doing though? I'm doing well by the grace of God. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> so my viewers would like to know how did the whole Nelson and you know connect in connection with the street stain came to be. Tell me, were you like are your parents late? Okay. That's a good question. question. And uh I would say my parents are not late. Because like most times when you see street children, it's either your parents are not around or maybe one is around, the other is not around and all of that. So how did all of this come like about? Okay. Yeah, what you said is really true. When you go to the streets, most mostly you like to find those who are let's say their parents are late and all those kind of stuff those that maybe because of one or two reasons they've come to the street so in my case i will not go that much deeper i'll just give a surface of it and uh i would like to say my parents are not late they are alive my dad and my mom they are alive so i would like to say something just happened mm. uh, yeah so i'll put it in this way every child likes to be loved okay yeah. love is one thing that is really really much special and you need to bring it forth to every child example let's say you are a baby and you are crawling and maybe you face some difficulties and you find out that your mom comes to pick you up then you begin to smile and you are happy yeah that's how it is that is love so let's put it in this way what if that love you need from them you are not getting it anymore it tends to be a different thing altogether mm. love is replaced with some kind of hatred some kind of punishment where you feel like you are not finding love there Nothing. anymore then you'll be like let me let me go to whom can give me love okay. so i'll put my case in, in, that this, in that scenario wow like, did you find the love you're looking for though <laughs> um, i would say parents love is more enjoyable than anybody's love so in essence it's irreplaceable less okay though i had a little bit of freedom <laughs> i had <laughs> a little street, bit of freedom right? yeah All on right? the streets I had a little bit of freedom. I when can do freedom. Oh, freedom in mm. as in uh, you can do what you want. Mm -hmm. uh, you are not under that kind of control and uh, pressure. Yeah, so it's cool. It was cool for me. Me, I had the, the freedom was there on the street. The, the freedom was there, but though there's freedom, but there's some kind of thing that you need mm. to take take yourself. Up. So that you won't fall as a victim. victim. Yeah, because on the street there are a lot of things that happen on the street. Can you share some with us? Did you have any robbery issues, kidnapping issues and all? Oh yeah. Wow. On the street there are a lot of stuff that goes on. So I'll 
okay i'm coming from the street so i'll use myself as an example and those that i've been with so on the streets there there are robberies yeah mm. <laughs> there are there are robberies but those kind of robberies is not in a form of gun with knife and stuff oh, like no it's just small stealing <laughs> huh, you understand <laughs> the small, small small stealing like picking somebody's items and stuff but one thing in my case i fear to do yeah because one way or the other, I had a fear of God. In me. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yes. We'll yes. Come back exactly. To the fear of God. Exactly. But I had let a fear me, of God in me. Let me quickly um, take something from a cue from the small, small stealing. Was it like you had to join some people, other people? Were you influenced, or what caused that? It was a hunger or lack or something. Okay. I think one. I can only recall of one stealing that i did on the street and uh, it was out of let's say hunger uh, and it and, and it was not like uh it was somebody i can still recall it it is still fresh in my mind because I, it's like i still have the streets life and the street blood in me <laughs> so there was a particular day i went somewhere i was coming back with my with my group like my boys that I used to work with. Oh, so that was on, uh, that was in Tema Station, Accra specific. Wow. Yeah, Tema Station, Accra specific. So there's this place that they used to sell mangoes at Tema Station. So out of hunger, the person packed her stuffs and, and left yeah. to go home. Yeah, so we, we know how to get the mangoes. So we just went for a little operation. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we went to pick all the mangoes mm -hmm. and we uh, just ate and we, and we were filled up and we left. I think that, yeah, that was the only time wow. I can recall I went to store somebody's mm -hmm. item. It so was, for the most part, how did you survive? How were you feeding yourself? How were you? Okay. Like... Okay. My feeding was like some kind of uh, a ragged way. One, I have to okay let's say i still pee water on the street oh okay yeah i still pee water on the street yeah, yeah. I, something. yeah I still pee water on the street uh, i'll wake up um, go for the bowl for go for the water and sell maybe two rounds or three rounds then i do it for myself I, I take the profits for myself and i return back the money and the bowl to the, to owner. the owner and also i used to carry rubbish <laughs> wow yeah i carried i was having one customer that would go for a rubbish then go and dump it for her and she gives me money and, and stuff and uh i think yeah i was fetching water for people so, in the yeah. sea yeah those days i used to swim yeah i like yeah. swimming a lot no. and i know how to <laughs> swim <laughs> I see. yeah i know the how to swim the interesting thing about like all you're saying is that even in that situation you were doing something oh yeah wow that's, i was doing something yeah because i had in mind i wanted to go back to, to school. school yeah because while i was on the street i was like let me do my maximum best to mm. gather some money and go back and to go school because i love school wow yeah i love to be in school okay this is coming in too late but let me just quickly find out at when like what level in your life did you leave the house okay let me see i should be around uh, maybe 17 oh, okay. 18 yeah, yeah i should be around 17 18 yeah yeah i think that was in the year 2013 wow. 2013 yeah that's fine <laughs> okay so back to the love of god it's popped up in our conversation earlier now, did this love of God start from the house where you, the kind, was dragged along to go to church and all of that? Okay, I'll say yes because <laughs> my mom always liked going to the church. church. Yeah, I my see. mom really liked going to church. So early Sunday we are going to church. Early praise prayer we are going for prayer. We are going to church. So he likes us to be going to church. So my dad okay let you let's leave it there <laughs> like that yeah he he's also he also likes going to, he also likes church but i mean i've 
hardly will you see in my mm. church. Uh, but my mom is really passionate That's about the things of God. Yeah, that woman, I salute her. Yeah. <laughs> She's wow. really passionate. So she was the one who brought brother kind of upbringing mm. of going to church. So I think I came to know whom God is, how to worship God and stuff in those Sunday school yeah. at Pentecost. Wow. Yeah, I think. Yeah, Pentecost. Pentecost was closer to us. And also, she used to take me to many, many churches and stuff. Okay. So, that's why I got to our like, oh, church, church stuff entered into me. And that mm. was it. Do you regret the decision you made to actually leave home? Mm. Okay, I'll say no. Mm. Yeah, I'll say no. <laughs> it's like because everything happens yeah, together for a good reason. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I see that thing. Exactly, I have not regretted. Mm. Up to date, I've not, I've not regretted because I was having that kind of perception. Of if I was to be around, what would be the next, next level, okay. the next thing to happen? You get it because there are a lot of things. Let's say maybe there are some plans that maybe I might not know no. as well. So me, I. I okay, let me see. Normally, I used to compare my life with the life of Abraham, mm. where God was like, I need to separate you from your family. Oh, okay. I need to separate you from okay, your family, babe. come out from your family, then I'll I'll bless you, I'll make you wow. the father of all nations and stuff. So I saw it to be like, oh, okay. Though I didn't it. know how it is going to be outside, but I just took it like yeah. that and just came, not knowing where I was going, right. like Abraham. Abraham was like, you come out. God was like, Abraham, come out. Mm -hmm. Abraham didn't know, know where, he, where was he was going. So when I was coming out, didn't know where I didn't going. know what was going on. So I came to land in the midst of some strangers and that was how it wow. began. That means you were fortunate to have had some opportunities as a result of leaving the house. Yes, I had a lot of opportunities. Okay. I had a lot. Okay. And one thing that kept me was I always say I had a fear of God in me. Yeah. Because I really there are certain things I can't do. Mm -hmm. as, 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 I say I if you tell me to do as well, if it's like sin, yeah. I'll fear. I, I, I had that kind of fear yeah, to sin. Yeah. yeah. So and me too, I was very determined. All mm -hmm. what I wanted is I wanted to go to school. school. Yes. Wow. So I didn't regret. At least one way or the other, uh, I was able to complete my school and uh, finally in the university. So in my final year, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> uh, very sweet. soon, yeah, we'll just yeah, proceed from graduate. We'll yeah. proceed from there. there of God course, really. <laughs> of course. All right. So would you like to share a major opportunity that got you to school and where you are right now? Okay. Okay. Uh I would say it all started from one guy of mine, one mm. guy. We are on the we are on the street and uh, it, I think you see before God people used to pray that oh uh, let's say God we need your help, we need your help. <laughs> so it's not like God will come down no, in himself and come and help, <laughs> you know. God uses his blessings through people. someone, through yeah. people to come in. Give you a helping hand mm. so it all started from one small boy no i will not say it's a small boy we're all in the same, same street. street yeah we're all surviving there until he was like oh whenever is this time we go to this organization we go there to school the mm. teachers the feeders and stuff i was like oh i'm interested why not let's go, go. though my mind is all full of school and stuff Fair. so since i go and i I find a place to learn and study. Why not? Why not? So I went there and I took that opportunity up for myself. They spoke to us, the advisors, and uh, and uh, I was determined. Mm. Yeah, I was serious. Uh -huh. I was really, really serious. <laughs> I took my education it's very, serious. very serious. So the organization saw my seriousness yes. and my commitment and my devotion. And I believe that they saw some potentials in me. Too. So that's why they picked me up. Wow. And they were like, nah, this guy cannot be, cannot be like that. Yes. Uh -huh. So they took it up upon me to, uh, to push me forward, forward in school. So they took me to my GHS for me to complete mm. SHS as well. And uh, they invest there as well. Whoa. <laughs> oh, God bless this organization. Should yeah. it be coded? Should their name be coded? 
Uh, okay, if you want me to win, yes, yeah, I, mean, I mean, we should appreciate them for the good oh, way yes, they are doing. God, God richly bless uh, Kingdom Paradise. Kingdom Paradise. Kinder Paradise. Kinder Paradise. Paradise. Yeah, K-I-N-D-E-R, okay. then Paradise. Wow. Kinder Paradise. So that's the name of the foundation. That's the name of the foundation. Wow. The organization. God bless you so, so, so much. <laughs> Look at how he's turned out so, so well. Guys, exactly. this is love. <laughs> this is the epitome of love exactly. that somebody has shown on him exactly yeah, so in the spirit of love would you like to share a few words with those who are kind of at home thinking about what next to do maybe they are not finding love mostly i don't really blame our parents mostly okay, okay. because i feel like this is what they can do and they've done it mm. the rest is up to you to actually take up so do you have some few words to share with somebody who is kind of between the devil and the deep blue sea thinking should i leave the house should i you know what what advice do you have for that person okay uh <laughs> as a tough question okay. though but i don't know i'll just mm -hmm. see how to answer it okay i'll i will not advise anyone who is having in mind to leave the house mm. as i also left Live. because uh, let me say all hands are not the same Cheap. you get it all hands are not the same and one way i would i would, one thing i also say is that you might not know what you might encounter Counter. on the street mm. because on the street there are a lot of stuff mm. i just mentioned just yeah. a little yeah there are a lot of stuff there are things i've been through but i can't share sure. them here yeah so i have to keep them and they are really really bad wow. they are really really bad some can even lead you to your death wow. yeah, exactly so <laughs> i won't advise anybody to come to the streets i won't advise any even my brother I won't, even my sister I won't, I, won't, I won't advise you <laughs> because it's it's more or less like a condemned cell mm. yeah once i've sat down and realized that i was meditating one day i was like there's no great man you see now that made it from the streets mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because so, i was like nah you can't be on the streets and, and make, make it, it. Mm -mm. unless you come out it's true. even if you get the idea from the street you can't be the idea can never germinate on the on streets the street, unless you come, come out, out. Wow, this is deep. Because you can't be on the street and make it unless you come, come out from out. the streets so if because i know people up to now i know them well some are my friends mm. their lives i compare my life to mm. them and i realize that now nah, it is far far different wow it's far far different and i thank god for that some are still in their same condition smoking and uh, living all manner of lives mm. so i know some that i started with with let's say they were, they, they were, we, we all sold pure water. Mm. You get it on the street of Accra, the station, uh, precisely. And some are still selling, selling the pure water. Mm. Some are still selling the pure water. I know those who, those that we go to them, they do, they, they do Indomie in the evening, we sit with them, we eat, we watch movies and stuff. They are still selling the Indomie mm. and they are still at one place. Wow. Like There's crazy. no forwardness. Do you think it's our mentality as individuals? Because even though you had left, you had the vision, you have the goal. And okay, if opportunity had not met that vision, probably it wouldn't have evolved to who you are to. Good. So, exactly as you said, if the opportunity has not come, I don't think that vision might be better out or yeah. come out so i also say that if you make up your mindset very well and you are really determined to move forward and to make it in life you surely make, make it, it. It's true. you surely make it hmm. you surely make it if you are determined that i have to hit this point i have to make this grace i have to hit this point if you, you are determined make it. someone can just push you up yeah and, you never know. and you just go forward but if you are stand still and uh, thinking that that's your level and there's nothing that can happen to you or you think there's no hope mm. for you, it will be hard. <laughs> it will be hard. It will really hard for you to move forward. Yeah.
mm. aim aim high and think high. Yeah, because the streets, the, the street is no good. It's no good. There's nothing good you can get from the street. Either. All my street boys, they are all around. Mm, art center, Labadi Beach, Art Center, when you go to uh, the Independence Square, Square. Oh, okay. the beaches over there. I have, I have my boys the over there. Squad there. <laughs> my okay. squad, they are all there. Shout out to all of them in case they come across this video. Exactly, anyway. exactly. I can't mention their names. Anyways, thank you so, so much, Nelson, mm. for giving us the opportunity. And thank this you. is a month of love. So please, just have somebody show Nelson love. Please go out there and do same to others. In your very small way, you don't have to, you know, pay for fees and all of that. Probably you don't have that money. You can afford it. But then in your very small way, go out there and show somebody love. All right. Thank you so much for staying through this video. Until my next video, kindly subscribe to the channel. Share this video with your loved ones and friends. And leave a comment in the comment section. Until my next video. Bye-bye and Merry Christmas. Can we say that to them? Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs>